Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my very first video on the Linux terminal. Now the Linux terminal obviously comes bundled with Linux and it is a lot more powerful than the graphical user interface in doing a lot of things. Unfortunately those things are rather complicated and I wanted to start this off as a beginner tutorial. So to begin with we will do some commands for navigating the terminal and figuring out how to change directories, make files, um, delete files, th the very basics. Now if you're familiar with DOS, this is going to look very similar and it really is. Oh, the, some of the commands are different, well a lot of the commands are different, but there are commands that do basically the same thing that are analogous between the two. There are several key variations between the two though, and you're going to have to break some habits to transition from DOS to the Linux kernel. Now, here we go. As you can see right now, this shows your present working directory. We're in root. Whoops. Sorry about that. We are in root, which is slash. It is basically your C drive if you're more familiar with Windows than Linux. Now if we wanted to confirm that, pwd is, which means present working directory and that shows you what directory you're in, slash. All this is just the specific computer stuff. Alright, so we're in root. Let's figure out what is what there is to see. If we type in ls, that means list, and hit enter, it will show you all of the files and directories all the visible files and directories within root. Now I don't know if there's, there probably will be, there's probably some hidden stuff in here, I haven't checked, but if you want to show hidden stuff you have to type in a minus a, which is all, and hit enter. Yeah, like right here, these file, these directories here, couldn't see them up here because they were hidden. In order to move, let's move from root to our home directory, which is where are your my documents and your desktop and whatnot for each particular user is stored. You'll want to go change directory which is cd space home. And now if you type list it will show you all the users on the computer. Now Doug, that's my name, was just a, I was testing actually creating users and deleting users using the command line which will be another video. So that is actually empty kids this computer was used to be a public computer for the house so that's why it says kids there we'll go to that one since that's where I actually have files and list again now you notice if we type in present working directory it says slash home slash kids but if you look here you have this squiggly line I think it's called a tilde that's because this symbol represents your home directory so let's go into documents. CD documents. Uh -oh. There's one. Th this is one of the major differences between DOS and Linux. If you were in the Windows command prompt, that would have worked. But Linux is case sensitive, so documents is different from documents or documents or I don't know doc. You men, whatever weird capitalization you want to use. So if you want to go to my documents folder, you actually have to type in documents with the capital D and hit enter. And if we check our present working directory, we're in slash home slash kids slash documents. And you can list and there are the files within the my documents folder. Let's uh, create a directory now make directory mk dir or dir however you want to pronounce it is the make directory command so you type in mk dir and then you type in your the name of your directory we'll call it test and if we were to list all of the files and directories within our present working directory you'll see that test shows up and I accidentally double tapped enter there so let's go into it 
Now if we were type list, we just made this directory. Nothing shows up because it's empty. So let's go back to documents. You'll notice that didn't work. At least in my experience with the change directory command, it only goes backwards in two cases and that's when you're returning to root or home. If you want to go back to documents, you have to type in cd space dot dat and that will take you back. It's like the back button in your explorer or your browser. It'll take you back to the last directory. Now, two special cases that I mentioned earlier were home and root. If you want to go back, let's go back up to test. If you want to go back home, you just type in cd and then the squiggly line. And that will get you into your home directory. And if you want to go back to root, type in cd and then a forward slash. And that gets you into root. So let's go back. Another thing to note is you have to move stepwise. You can't go cd documents, if I can spell. That won't work because there is no documents within root. Now if you wanted to, you could go cd slash home slash kids slash documents. And that would take you there. So if you're not moving directly stepwise, you have to spell it out, the entire address of the directory. Okay, so we have our test directory. I don't feel like having that anymore. If you type in rm dir and then the name of your directory, boom, it's gone. Be careful. You'll notice it didn't ask. It'll just get rid of it. Now if we wanted to remove a particular file, the command for that is just rm and we'll use that in a second here. Let me make the directory again and we'll put a file on it. So now we won't do that yet. Um, let's go into test and Linux, at least Ubuntu, it's the only Linux I really have experience with, comes bundled with a number of programs that can be run from the command line not the least of which is Nano. Nano is a basic text editor that operates within the command line. So, hello world. There we go. At the bottom here are the uh, shortcuts for the various things you can actually do within Nano. If you want to save, you just hit Control X to exit, type Y for yes, and file name Hello world, enter. So now if we list this hello world, and you can open hello world by typing nano hello world. Okay, here the, there's, there's another difference between DOS and Linux right here. In DOS, if you want to open or run a, a file or an executable or something, you just have to type it in. But as you can see, that doesn't work in Linux. In Linux you have to specify the program that you're using to open the file up. So let's get rid of hello world now. If we want to remove it, rm dir is obviously for directories. If we try and remove directory hello world, that probably isn't going to work because it's not a directory. To get rid of hello world the file, you just use remove rm and make sure you don't capitalize where there's no caps and as you can see hello world is gone I feel like having a file in here though so nano da 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 control x yes I do want to save it alright so file asd fjkd semicolon fjl is now within test let's go back to documents I don't feel like having the test doc or the test directory anymore. Remove directory, test. Nope. You see, remove directory, if I can spell, only works on empty directories. If there's something in it, you can't do that. If you want to remove a directory that has files or other directories inside of it, you want to use rm, the regular remove command, and add the modifier recursive, minus and then capital R which will get rid of everything within the directory as well as the directory itself. Be careful. If you accidentally remove the wrong directory doing this, you're going to lose everything within it. So make sure you're removing the directory you want to remove or don't use this command. 
and as you can see it didn't yell at me and test is now completely gone So let's just briefly recap what we've learned in this video. If you want to see what directory you're in, present working directory will write the full address of your present working directory. To change directories, use change directory dot dot moves back, squiggly line goes to home, slash goes to root. Otherwise, you just type in the name of a directory if you're moving stepwise or the full address of the directory if you are moving from or if you're moving not stepwise if you're jumping a few directories in between in addition list will show you the contents of your folder nano is a default text editor that works rather well and you can use to create files within the command line basic text files without any formatting and you can make directories using make mk dir remove directories with rm dir, remove files with rm, and remove directories with contents using rm recursive. So that feels like a good wrapping up point for our basic navigation episode. Thank you for watching and next time I think we will deal with some more advanced concepts in mon or messing around with files within the command line. So I will see you next time and thank you for watching.